though I suspect the final game may be quite different. It's understandable if you don't recall that a new Bioshock sequel is still in development, as it was initially announced back in 2019. Since then, both publisher 2K Games and developer Cloud Chamber, a studio created specifically for this game, have kept remarkably silent about its progress. That doesn't mean we have heard nothing. Over the years, there have been leaks, including a rumor that the game is set in 1960s, Antarctica. Now, it looks like we might even have a real screenshot of the game. The image has been revealed by the game's site, MP1ST, which claims it comes from a visual effects artist at 2K. According to them, it's from a demo featured in a 2021 reel likely part of their portfolio. The image includes text referencing Parkside, previously reported by multiple sources as the game's codename. The image shows a first-person view of a retro-futuristic tower with a glowing orb on top. There's always a lighthouse, after all. The character is holding a chunky weapon called the Ricochet Shotgun, Though their left hand is invisible, there is a room for it to appear with plasmids. The UI shows icons indicating the character has magnetic and electrical power equipped, along with a time-slowing ultimate. While it's not the most detailed image, it certainly looks like a modernized Bioshock. But since this game built in from 2021, the screenshot might not show what the game looks like now. Last week, Cloud Chamber was recruiting like mad to keep working on the game. This could mean the game recently changed direction. So even if the game screenshot is real, which we can't be sure of, it probably won't show what the final game will look like. Still, it's interesting to see some signs of life from the game. The series' future seemed uncertain when creator Ken Levine left and dissolved Irrational Games to make the Bioshock-like Judas instead. A new team stepping up six years later didn't inspire much confidence, and after five more years of silence, I wondered if Cloud Chamber was still working on the game it was founded to make. If this screen is genuine, it shows there is activity and the recent recruitment drive is a positive sign, while skepticism about a sequel without Levine is understandable. Keeping an open mind about the project is good. It's important to note that Cloud Chamber includes several veterans of the first game, and Bioshock 2, which was also made without Levine, turned out well. I remain cautiously optimistic that this could be a worthy revival of the series.